Yo, it's your boy Red, and I'm gonna review Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 1, right? I think they're splitting up in two volumes, because, uh, spoiler alert, but at the end of the show, just letting you guys know, this is what I'm thinking about, and after did research, they mentioned they're gonna release the second part in July, I believe, right? So that's kind of interesting, that's cool, we don't have to wait that long. Um, but here first you get, what, eight episodes, I think it was? My bad, you get seven episodes, right? Um... Pretty good stuff. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, the, the poster in the back I have here in the background is basically you get split into the four groups, right? You have uh, the kids back in the town exploring this weird new phenomenon going around. Someone's killing kids again randomly. Uh, you have uh, Eleven and her group in California. You have, uh, if you guys didn't know Hopper's alive, you have Hopper and we own a writer in their group. And then, of course, the main star of this volume, who I think is the main star, is uh, Max. She, st she stole the show. If, if you ask me, besides, you know, Hopper and We on a Rider, which obviously they're going to steal the show, Max is our main character now, right? She's the one fighting against this new creature we have here. Um, we get to see her side of things. She's apparently broken up with Lucas. Uh, Dustin and Lucas are, ha like... And Dustin, Lucas, and uh, not Will, fucking what's the other guy's name? Mike are having issues because Lucas is becoming popular. He's joining the basketball team, stuff like that. Eleven is kind of doing her own thing. She doesn't have powers anymore. She's beating up girls or something. I don't know what she's doing. She's getting bullied or something, right? We've seen that before and we see it again here. But yeah, Max, though, definitely the main character in this volume. She, She's in everything, everything that's fun. Look, the poster, like I said, explains it very well. Four parts, right? Out of those four parts, I only care about three. It was sad to say, but a lot of people I talked to said also they kind of did Millie Bobby Brown bad in this part, right? This uh, Only this part, right? And it's because it's kind of boring. We've seen this before. She's trying to regain her power. She lost her powers in the previous season. She's trying to regain it. It's going to take a while. And every time they show parts of uh, either with uh, Eleven and then Mike and the other boys, you know, it's kind of, I just tune out on that. I was like, brought out, whatever. But when I got back in with, you know, Dustin, Lucas, Max, well, uh, you know, Hopper and them, I was full throttle, man. These are long episodes, so stuff like that, you know, gets me interesting. But they have to show the 11 part. It's kind of like that episode, I forget what season it was, two or three. It might have been two where we see one of, uh, you know, 11's friends or something that also has powers. That was kind of a, like that kind of thing, right? But throughout the whole sh uh, volume series. Um, the investigation's back on. That's what I love about the show when they investigate, try to find clues. That was cool, right? Especially like, okay, here, here's the other thing, though. Here's the thing. 11's part does have impact later on in the show to figure out who our main bad guy is. So keep an, keep an eye on them for that. that. They did a good job on that part. But it was kind of obvious going into it, you know, listening to the conversation and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, new characters before all that shit, right? New characters. We get some two, we get a couple new characters, and I love them. I love these new characters. They're cool, man. Uh, you know, the guy from California, that guy that drives a pizza delivery van, uh, he's cool too. And then the Dungeons and Masters dude who's been held back in school like twice, I guess. I don't even know if that's possible. He's pretty cool too, guy. Uh, he's actually very intuitive. And uh, I'm glad he's in the show, actually. A lot of new characters. I love it. And uh, hopefully, Volume 2 will be bad, uh, pretty good, too, right? Um, what would I give? Oh, all right, how the music. Music was great, too. I mean, classics, right? Playing. Yeah, I love the music. Always the Stranger Things. They pick great tracks, right? Now, let me see. Now, I actually went back and looked at my overview for Season 1 and 2. I don't think I did a third one. And I gave it an 8 out of 10 for both. I think this one was a little weaker than those two, but I'm gonna give it a eight out of ten too. It was I think it's just an eight good show, right? Watching all the way through, you binge watch the whole thing. It's great. Um, yeah, don't forget, man. I'm selling merch down below. Check it out. Thanks for watching this, and I'm definitely gonna do volume two because I'm already invested in this. I watched this all the way through Memorial Day weekend, right? Pretty good, actually. We released it right on the Memorial Day weekend. We got to binge watch the whole thing, and I enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later.